we can stop the music. Oh, okay. Hold up. Fifty-five second. Could you see me watching the stream? Watching the stream, 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 stream. No, but you can definitely hear the echo of it. ハロー、サリュー、アニョハセオ。ニハセ。ドラゴンボール え、ドッカンバトルでは、え、毎年このサイヤの日を記念したえ、キャンペーンを実施しておりますそしてドッカンナウでは、え、いち早くえ、ユーザーの皆さんにえ、サイヤの日キャンペーンで実施するイベントや
、ね、こちらのバーストコインは新しく BGM「セル完全体激怒」のテーマ「人造人間16号」のテーマなどの BGM と交換することができます BGM を獲得するとコレクションルームでいつでも聞くことができるほかチーム編成時の BGM としても設定できるようになりますぜひ高スコアを獲得して BGM やゲーム内アイテムを手に入れてみてください以上「サイヤの日」キャンペーンのイベント情報でした続いては「サイヤの日」に登場する新キャラクターを紹介させていただきますまずはこちらの動画をご覧くださいどうぞということで今回登場する新キャラクターは王子の覚醒ベジータになります気になるキャラクターイラストはこちらですそして独感覚醒後の姿はこちらになりますナイスこちらのキャラクターはアクティブスキルを発動することでドラゴンボール Z 人造人間セル編よりベジータが初めてスーパーサイヤ人になったシーンの演出とともにスーパーサイヤ人ベジータに変身することができますまたスーパーサイヤ人ベジータに変身した後は条件を満たすことでアクティブスキルでビッグバンアタックを放つことができますそして気になる性能はこちらになりますはい。
And after, if he gets hit, uh, let's see, yeah, so the more HP, when the character receives an attack, you have to be hit, I think, because it says receives an attack. Uh, the more HP you have after you get hit for the first time, I think it means in slot one, what, wait, first time in a turn. That this part's good because that I don't know. Defense boost received within the turn up to 150%. Plus additional 30 per 31% each, each attack received. Man, this guy's a tanking master. Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when there's an ally who names includes Goku. Attacking in the same turn or who who's or an enemy whose name includes Goku. Oh. Which not pretty that's not that difficult. I mean linking him with Goku should be easy. The only thing I don't understand is this one, is the defense. I think it's just the more HP you have when you get attacked, the more defense. Same thing with the attack. So, so that's him in base form. Can be activated fit 18%. Wow, that's easy. Thank, thank God they made him easy. All right. Greatly raises attack for one one turn. Super attack. Uh, guards all attack, uh, so 180%, key plus 3, guards all attacks, I'm just speed running through this. Reduce damage received by 18%, very nice. Plus an additional attack, 180% when attacking, and if HP is 30% or more when attacking, launch an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack, very nice. They're doing 18%, by the way, because Saiyan Day, Saiyan 18, that's, yeah. Saiyan Day is 318, so 18 is the sort of number, that's why 180. Plus an additional attack, 30% if the target's enemy HP is 80% or less when attacking. Plus an additional attack, 30% if the target's enemy HP is 60% or less when attacking. Plus an additional 50% if target's enemy is 40% or less when attacking. So 80%, 60%, 40% for maximum attack. Plus additional defense 180% when receiving an attack. Man, it's an, it, it's really annoying that you have to get hit to get defense. Like, I mean, luckily this guy can tank. So it's not an issue, but it's just... You know, for older units, for example, it's just like... Some of the older units don't have defense. Like the Goten and Trunks, the physical one. They have to super attack to get defense first. And it's like, if they don't super, no defense. I hate when they do stuff like that. It's it's fine. Just again, these are my thoughts. Launch an additional super attack at the same turn and disables uh the enemy the attacked enemy's action once within the turn after receiving an attack. Nice. So this man, very good. He gets amazing attack, amazing defense. And he just destroys. Uh, let's see. Massively raise attack temporarily, cause ultimate damage to enemy. All attacks become crits within the turn. Activated. Very nice. Can be activated if the character receives an attack three or more times in battle, or when facing only one enemy whose HP is 80% or less. Man, they made his... Why can't they make all units like this? こちらの新キャラクターが登場するドッカンフェスは 3月18日からの実施を予定しております uh, Probably 3... They say 3.17 PST, but I think they mean in the morning of the 18th ぜひ仲間にしてバトルを通してかっこいい演出を楽しんでいただければと思います新キャラクターの紹介は以上となります続いて日本版との運営統合に向けたロードマップの進捗を発表いたします今回は2024年の夏頃までのアップデート内容について紹介させていただきます大きなポイントとしては遊びやすさを向上させるためのアップデートバトルに戦略性を増すための敵味方のスキル
units team copying function though i think that team wait team copying does it doesn't say friend copying it says team copying function damn it i jumped that i jumped at that one too far it, it could maybe because team maybe they're finally updating friend system again maybe but it just says team it doesn't say friend but maybe they made that mistake i don't know ally skill boosting domain effect boosts that's nice and more will be coming Proved data download shop screen modification rival new ssr will be recruiting quests ninth anniversary okay so the unification happens after our ninth year anniversary which makes sense because jp already had theirs so once we finish ninth anniversary then everything becomes unified new quest okan that's for worldwide events and quest okan story ui え、まずはキャラクターの覚醒に関するアップデートについて紹介させていただきます。以前より極限Z 本日はその現状に対して今できる範囲での救済方法をご用意いたしましたので、最大まで極限Z覚醒をしたキャラクターを対象に超極限Z覚醒が実装されます uh, I'll just read this just in case Content to be boosted, passive skill focus boosts, eligible character to confess for feature characters, LR characters who have undergone the final step of easy A's So they're not boosting super attack, the only thing they are boosting is the passive skills, not, not the Not the leader skills or the super attacks so super attacks are staying at 15 and leader skills are staying normal too they're just boosting the passives 強化する範囲としましては今後アップデートをかけるかもしれませんが基本的にはバランスの観点からもキャラクターのパッシブスキルを軸に強化していく予定です また現状の対象キャラクターとしては フェス限定キャラクターおよびLRキャラクターまでを順次追加する予定です。次に覚醒の方法についてです。既存の極限Z覚醒専用の覚醒メダルが獲得できるステージレベルスーパーが追加されます。So basically, yeah, there it's the same EZA event just super level. 基本的にはこのレベルスーパーを周回することでメダルが獲得できますが対象ステージに紐づく条件付きのミッションを達成することでもメダルを獲得することができますこちらのメダルを使用することで対象のキャラクターが超極限Z覚醒し it, I just want to point this out. It's, it's weird that they chose the UI Goku because he just got an easy A on the ninth year. They should have just stuck to the SSJ3 one. But I, it's it, it looks cool. I'm just saying it's weird how they chose UI Goku to represent this. But yeah. Uh, yeah. SSJ3 最強の奥義スーパーサイヤ人3孫悟空になります。でもなんだ、でもなんだ、ヘッドなみんでリトリーブランデッドヒムスペシフィックリーオンイッチゲーム。そう。超極限Z覚醒した性能はこのようになります。
uh, superclass allies chance of performing critical hit 20% extreme cast allies 10% for three turn from characters entry turn mm. plus an additional attack and defense plus 150% for five turns some characters to entry turn plus an additional man this guy's getting a lot of attack and defense good lord I mean it's turn based but yeah for five turns he's getting attack and defense 150 and then for seven turns, he's getting another attack defense 150 and high chance of performing an additional super attack when performing a super attack. If you don't perform a super attack, you're not getting that additional uh, high chance right there. So, because that's high chance of launching an additional super attack when performing a super attack. So, so yeah. So, five turns again, attack defense 150 and seven turns. Is attack and defense 150 and then uh, an additional seven uh super attack high chance to do a super attack plus an additional attack and defense 100 percent when performing a super attack that sucks all right that's good from the eighth turn from start from the character's entry turn i say it sucks because it's like you have to super attack first but it is what it is he's getting lots of defense just don't put him in the first slot basically um, medium chance of evading enemies attack plus additional chance of evading enemies attack plus 30% of war attacking you know I'll say this even with UI Goku who has like a 90% chance to dodge if you're someone like me who has really bad luck this is garbage especially since it's 30% or oh, I guess 60% because medium chance but it, it just you know it's great that it's there i'm not gonna complain and say don't bother putting it at all but it's like if you're like me and just have really bad luck then this is worthless but uh yeah it's fine plus an additional 150 percent and high chance of performing a critical hit for three turns after an evading an attack very good man this is a good boost so he's not really getting too much special he's just getting a lot of attack and defense that unfortunately have you know return restrictions but you're getting attack defense 50 150 for five turns and another attack defense 150 for seven turns plus an additional high chance uh to launch an additional super attack which is great and then getting attack defense 100 percent from the eighth turn and 30 percent and a medium chance to dodge before attacking so yeah pretty cool and then if you dodge, you get an additional 150% defense and a critical hit for three turns. Or a high chance to perform a critical hit. So yeah, there you go. Very good, very good. Thankfully, they made him amazing. The Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z for people like me, Eastern Standard Time, it's uh, mostly 2.30 a.m. is when they're releasing it on the 22nd, so... Maybe not, I don't know. Bowken Dokkan Story ni kansuru jowhou desu. Bowken Dokkan Story no arasuji o kantan ni furikaeru koto ga dekiru yoni narimasu. Mata, ima made o shirase o minakereba wakara na katta stage goto ni te ni hairu drop item ga ステージ選択画面の一覧にて、一目でわかるようになります。こちらは現在鋭い開発中となっておりますので、実装までしばしお待ちください。そしてチームコピー機能の実装を予定しております。こちらの機能ではイベントごとに他のユーザーの皆さ
主に敵のギミック周りについて拡張を予定しておりますよりさまざまな場面に応じてそれぞれキャラクターを使うことができるような環境にしていきたいと思っております現状実装しているようなスキルを無効にするギミックだけではなく新しい体験を提供していきたいと思っておりますのでどんなギミックが登場するのか楽しみにお待ちください、えー、また敵のギミック追加に合わせて対抗する手段や新たなスキルを持ったキャラクターなども登場していく予定となっておりますので続報を楽しみにしていてください今回紹介した内容は8月までとさせていただいておりますがそれ以降にもよりゲームが遊びやすくそして楽しくなるように回収や拡張を複数検討しておりますので続報を楽しみにお待ちいただければと思います以上ロードマップの進捗発表でしたさて冒頭でもお伝えしましたが今回の「ドッカンナウでは昨年と同様特別企画を準備させていただきましたこちらをご覧くださいはいスタッフに1から9の数字が書かれたボードを用意してもらいました今回はサイヤの日に合わせて3と1と8のボードを打ち抜いていければと思いますこれら3つの的を60秒以内に全て倒すことができれば皆さんに流石を18個プレゼントいたしますそれでは早速頑張らせていただきます He's probably, even if he misses it. アウト even if he misses it, they'll probably still give it. They always do that. よしいやむずこれいやー !You can do it, d o m a t s u 違う違う違う。Harness your inner Dragon Ball. <laughs> Tarnish your Dragon Ball nerd. He's hitting all of them except. Yosha! Yosha! So, you got to the Konkai Bujini, Minasan, Duseki, Ju Hako, and Joy, and Team Dragon Sons. はい、ぜひログインして確認してくださいね。次が最後のお知らせです。サイヤの日特別ミッションと連動した SNS キャンペーンを全世界合同で実施いたします。シャイアの日で新登場するキャラクター PV のリポストいいねの合計値やゲーム内イベントのクリア回数で目標値をそれぞれ設定させていただきますすべての目標を達成することで全世界の皆さんに流石を含む報酬を配布させていただきます皆さんぜひ SNS をチェックの上参加してみてくださいね今回の「ドッカンナウ」はこちらで以上となります皆さんお楽しみいただけましたでしょうか今日ご紹介したもの以外にもサイヤの日キャンペーンにはさまざまなイベントをご用意しておりますので開催を楽しみにお待ちくださいまた今回サイヤの日キャンペーン以外にも今後のアップデート情報なども少しお伝えさせていただきました直近のサイヤの日キャンペーンに限らずそれ以降も楽しんでいただけるよう運営一同最大限励んでまいりますそれではまた次回の動画でお会いしましょう最後までご視聴いただきありがとうございました See you See you So yeah there you go pretty cool He will make his debut most likely one uh, one two、uh, thirty a.m. Eastern, at least for me, because it's 3 18 say and day.、Uh, so, if not, it's strange how they would release them on the 17th because it's 3 18 say and day, but I don't, I don't know. Sometimes they release units on the、uh, at 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. even. So, this man's pretty good, pretty good. Can't complain in any manner, man. Very tanky.
And he's gonna do lots of he's he's kinda like the god Goku in a sense. Well no, he's a lot better than God Goku, but Good lord. They they something they gotta work on is being able to organize the freaking passive a bit more so you don't have to read a full paragraph to see something. You know, make it like a bullet point thing, like, okay, here's this attack and defense standard guards all attack. Well, I guess that would be longer, but I could do two two slide bullet points. You know, they do it for like link skills and categories and stuff, so they could do it. And I, I they could figure it out. But it's just annoying to have to read through for the entire paragraph to see stuff. But he's okay. Yeah. Very good. Raises attack and defense. Vegeta's family and Super Saiyans. There you go. Oh. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Good luck on your summons. I mean, we still got uh, four days. Three or four. I don't know. It says 17th, but... Take it, convert it to your, your time. I'm sure they'll show it in-game, but... Thank God they made his transformation and his active skill very easily usable. And then 21st or 22nd is when this man's... Uh, where is he? Where is he? They also said this short term. So maybe they're trying to find a long term way of doing that. Interesting. Right now they're just focused on the passive skills. Again, very weird how they used UI Goku of all people. He literally just got an easy A in the ninth year anniversary, but mm. the the animation for it looks cool. How it's like electrified. Oops. Very cool looking. First character this man's and can't I can't complain. I personally I'm not gonna complain about it. He's very good. He's a lot more usable now than he was before, so Damn. Getting a lot of attack and defense boosts. And lasts for honestly a good amount of time. Five turns, seven turns, and then on the eighth turn you're getting that. So these are combined, I'm pretty sure. Because for five turns he gets that. And then for seven turns, it doesn't say on turn seven does he get this. No, it's, it says for five turns, and then for seven turns. So, I think these are calculated separately, but basically 300% attack and defense. And recalculate whatever that is. So, pretty good. Pretty good. Anything else? Let's see. I don't know what this is about. This feature, let's see. Happy to know you'll be able to read past stories from Quest Dokkan's story. Also, currently, the way of knowing the available drop rewards. To read relevant announcement. So, I guess if you care to, you know, watch the story stuff, you can do so from the menu that they're going to make. So, that's pretty cool. I personally don't really care about the story, like... I'm not. When you've seen the anime enough, you're good. But if you want to read Dokkan, Dokkan story, it's in here. So yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. A lot of good stuff coming, man. A lot of good stuff coming. <laughs>